Streaming live now on News8000.com. You're watching WKBT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now, this morning. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alexandra Carter on this Wednesday, June 5th. Checking in now with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl. Bill, yesterday afternoon was so beautiful. What can we expect today? Well, today, uh, kind of a mix of sun and clouds. We do have to watch the chance for yet another round of showers and thunderstorms uh, later today and into early this evening. Best chances north. Uh, we'll get to that in just a moment. But first of all, uh, you mentioned we did have some nice uh, dry hours yesterday, but also another round of showers and thunderstorms. And it was warm and it was uh, fairly humid, wasn't it? Temperatures in the lower to middle 80s. 86 was the high in Eau Claire. 84 in La Crosse. 87 in Black River Falls. Uh, skies are mostly cloudy as the rain showers from the overnight are pushing east and out of the area. Uh, just under a quarter inch of rain fell uh, out at the La Crosse Airport, but some uh, spots saw upwards of an inch plus. Uh, 84 and 66 were the numbers from yesterday. That's above those averages of 79 and 57. 99 and 40, the records today, that 99 once again set three years ago during that heat spell in 2021. So on radar, you can see those showers have really weakened and they're shifting into far eastern parts of the Bune area with some clearing just to our west. Current temps in the mid 50s to lower 60s, the milder and muggier air being pushed to the east. It's going to be breezy and less humid today, dry this morning, and a chance for some hit and miss showers and thunderstorms as we head into this afternoon. I'll detail that with my eight day forecast coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Bill, thank you. We will see you in just a bit. With immigration a top issue on voters' minds this election year, President Joe Biden has taken sweeping executive action to severely restrict asylum claims at the southern border. During his announcement yesterday, the president said he would have preferred to have had bipartisan immigration legislation from Congress to handle the border crisis. Instead, there's been bipartisan, uh, bipartisan criticism of the new rule. CBS's Jared Hill has more. Overnight, a major change to U.S. immigration policy took effect. President Biden's new rule partially bans some asylum claims at the southern border. To protect America as a land that welcomes immigrants, we must first secure the border and secure it now. The executive action allows the administration to ban migrants from claiming asylum if they cross outside of official points of entry along the southern border. This would kick in when daily crossings reach 2,500 giving Border Patrol the authority to quickly reject and deport thousands of people. The new restrictions would be paused 14 days after the weekly average of daily illegal border crossings drops below 1,500. The last time that happened was in July of 2020. This is a total disaster by Biden. Prominent Republicans called the move too little too late, while some progressive Democrats argue it's a step in the wrong direction. This action falls short of our goal of a just and fair immigration policy. The president says his executive action is also meant to deter migrants from coming to the southern border. But Venezuelan asylum seeker Ramon Eduardo, who is still in Mexico, says he doesn't think the new policy will stop migrants like him from making the dangerous trek north. Legal challenges are almost certain. The American Civil Liberties Union tells CBS News it plans to sue to block the policy, calling it illegal. The same day as his announcement, Arizona's state legislature passed a bill that would allow voters to decide if local law enforcement should have the authority to arrest and jail undocumented migrate migrants in that state. Prosecutors in Delaware called their first witness in the criminal trial of Hunter Biden, President Biden's son, facing three felony charges relating to a gun purchase. An FBI special agent laid out the timeline of Hunter Biden's drug abuse. Jurors also heard Hunter's voice as prosecutors played narration of his memoir, Beautiful Things. If convicted, Hunter Biden could face up to 25 years in prison. The Trumpelo County Sheriff's Office has released the name of the victim from a May homicide. The Sheriff's Office says 36-year-old Kyle Dahl was killed in Ettrick. Police found him around 8.30 p.m. May 15th between Highway 53 and County Road TT. A person of interest is currently in custody on unrelated charges. The Sheriff's Office is asking for help getting surveillance and dash cam videos from that night between 7 and 9 p.m. between Galesville and Blair. If you have that or any information, we'll have the Sheriff's Office contact information on our website.
A Black River Falls man is charged with six counts related to an alleged kidnapping and sexual assault. According to the criminal complaint, 52 year old Paul Sylvester was waiting outside a bar for his ex girlfriend to leave. He pepper sprayed her, broke her phone and glasses and sexually assaulted her in a remote wooded area before leaving her there and taking her keys. The woman was discovered the next morning by a passerby. Sylvester held on a $750,000 cash bond faces over 90 years in prison if convicted. His next court appearance is June 10th. Several lacrosse residents face eviction over a dispute between the city and a mobile home park. Six homes in Rivercrest Mobile Home Park could be evicted because of how close they are to the Pamel Creek Canal. The city owns the land and leases it to Rivercrest Village Partners, who use it as a mobile home park. But last fall, the city decided this would be their last year leasing the land as they needed to put a buffer zone between homes and the canal. Um, and that's needed for maintenance and for the possibility that it could fail and that someone who is located too close to the wall could of course experience property damage or even personal injury. There are a number of homes already within that buffer zone that will be forced to move out by the end of the month if a solution isn't reached. Newman has introduced a resolution to extend that lease for another year. La Crosse City Council will consider the resolution on June 13th. Over two weeks after deadly tornadoes threatened through Greenfields, Iowa, destroying homes and businesses, many residents are still working to clean up and pick up the pieces of what's left of their lives. Ophili Jacobson gives us a closer look at how one Greenfields area church is helping reunite people with some of those lost belongings. When you lose everything, cars, everything, camper, can't, we don't know where it's at. <laughs> It's, it's, we don't even know where it's at, it's gone. It's the little things that matter the most. Pictures and I've lost all my jewelry. So I was hoping maybe some of that showed up here as well. Lisa Beeman is searching through piles of photos and other mementos to find anything she can. A lot of pictures. Beeman hopes something made it out alive. She's happy her family did that day. Very thankful that we made it out of that tornado alive. When people like Beeman walk into the lost and found at Greenfield United Methodist Church. We have quite a few veteran hats that had been turned in. They meet Andrea McNeese. She's been sorting through and organizing everything here. It just gives you a sense of wanting to help and find um, anything that they might need. This room is open seven days a week from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. People can come in to look for items they've lost and also turn in items they found. McNeese says items are being shipped in from all over. Here we have a graduation invitation that was found north of Ames. This is from Alden, Iowa. McNeese says there are a lifetime of memories waiting to be reunited with their rightful owners. Everything from baseball gloves and records to wedding photos, action figures, and baby photos. We're planning on staying open until um, everything's found. Beeman didn't find what she was looking for Monday afternoon, but she plans to come back to look again for her own things. I think it's great. I think it's great. And return others. You know, I've brought some things up too that I have found blown in my yard. Because that's just what good neighbors do. And if you'd like to donate to help the victims of the Greenfield tornado, visit the Greater Greenfield Community Foundation's website. The Eau Claire Area School District is putting a referendum on the upcoming November ballot. The school board has approved a question asking the district for an $18 million levy increase each year for the next four school years to maintain operations for things like elementary reading programs and behavioral and mental health resources as well as school safety. Voters will see that question on the November 5th ballot. Happening today, some of the last surviving World War II veterans are set to gather in France ahead of tomorrow's 80th anniversary of D-Day. The day marked the beginning of the end for Nazi Germany after Allied forces stormed the beaches of Normandy in 1944. Few veterans from back then are still alive, and those who are are around 100 years old. President Biden and the British royals are also expected to arrive today and participate in the festivities. The time now is 5.09. Still ahead on your morning news, the FAA signs off a new rocket test at SpaceX. AT&T experiences a nationwide service outage and New Orleans upgrades the Superdome ahead of the Super Bowl.
Baseball fans bet almost $14 billion on games last year, but they aren't the only ones putting money on the sport. We'll take a look at the gambling scandals that have rocked Major League Baseball ahead. For now, we're sending you to break with something to put the good in your morning. Time to grab your jogging shoes and hit the pavement because today is National Running Day. It's a day for experienced runners to rededicate themselves to their passion. Also, beginners wanting to make a life-changing commitment to running. If you're starting out, make sure you have properly sized shoes and remember to hydrate and listen to your body. If you feel like you need a break, take one. Don't go running quite yet. Your consumer news is after the break. During Home Furniture's Memorial Day sale, get an extra 10% off sale prices or no interest financing for three years. Plus, get hot buys like this two-piece sectional for $9.99 or this queen bedroom suite for $7.59. The Memorial Day sale at Home Furniture ends Wednesday. Complete your backyard with an 11% rebate on everything at Menards. Spend less time maintaining your deck and more time relaxing on it with UltraDeck Low Maintenance Composite Decking. It's easy to install, easier to maintain, and built to last. UltraDeck Triumph is only $1.99 per lineal foot after rebate. Suncast provides high quality, low maintenance, and easy to assemble storage. This Suncast 7x7 Cloverdale storage shed is only $699.99 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. I love that my daughter still needs me, but sometimes I can't help due to burning and stabbing pain in my hands. So I use Nervive. Nervive's clinical dose of ALA reduces nerve discomfort in as little as seven days. Now I can help again. <laughs> Feel the difference with Nervive. Reed and Chelsea along with you. All right, so we talked about this a little earlier. We, we got a new dishwasher, and it Woo! wasn't like, hey, we wanted to upgrade. No, our dishwasher three weeks ago took a, a you-know-what, and we have been without one for three weeks. We haven't talked about it. It's kind of just where we, we don't, we don't even talk about that much amongst each other because we don't want to acknowledge <laughs> the situation it's we're in. Miserable. And I'll tell you, like, I realize there are people who washed dishes for, you know, 12 right. kids back in the day and all that. That's great. Once you've had a dishwasher, yeah, you, you can't get go really back. soft. Life's better when you're under our roof. Because when you feel totally protected, your family's free to enjoy their dreams. Try it again. You're getting the hang of this. Good job. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. Isn't it time you turn your backyard into the oasis you've always wanted? Come to Lacrosse Fireplace Company and find your outdoor setup. Imagine gathering with family and friends around your wood-fired pizza oven. Sit back and relax around your new fire table. Available in different sizes and styles to fit your lifestyle and budget. Stop in this month and receive 15% off all in-stock outdoor products. Lacrosse Fireplace Company, because your place is outside by the fire. During the Memorial Day sale at Home Sleep Express, get up to $1,200 off Beautyrest Black Adjustable Sets. Pay no interest for five years and get a free gas grill. Plus, get free delivery and setup on Beautyrest Black Mattresses. The Memorial Day sale at Home Sleep Express. Welcome back and a good Wednesday morning to you. It is 513, last day of school uh, for the La Crosse School District today. And here's your school cast for this Wednesday, June 5th. Uh, kind of a mix of sun and clouds this morning, 64 degrees at 7 a.m., 75 by lunchtime, uh, increasing winds through the day and a chance for some hit and miss showers and thunderstorms this afternoon and early this evening. Highs in the La Crosse area around 79. So dog walking forecast, the best time for that would be this morning. Again, keep an eye on that radar this afternoon for those hit and miss showers and thunderstorms and those will continue uh, continue into early this evening as well. Uh, look at this very cute shot of peaches uh, waiting patiently to walk with Brittany. Boy, uh, given the eyes there, uh, Come on, let's go for a walk. All right, uh, mainly cloudy sky in uh, downtown La Crosse as those uh, overnight showers are moving east and out of the area. Breezy and less humid today. Chance for those hit and miss showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. Highest chances in northern parts of the viewing area. And then mainly dry, some needed dry time tomorrow, uh, Friday, and right through the weekend as well. So you can see on radar, uh, the rain showers from overnight are starting to shift into far eastern parts of the viewing area. So give it another hour or two in those will come to an end and be out of uh, our hair, uh, but otherwise some clearing skies just to our west. Current temperatures in the low to mid 60s from La Crosse and points east, mid to upper 50s uh, to the west. 
and we will see highs today again around 79 degrees with that chance for some scattered showers and thunderstorms as we head into this afternoon. I'll have the rest of my eight day forecast coming up in just a few minutes. In your consumer news this morning, the Federal Aviation Administration has given the go ahead for another test of a SpaceX rocket. SpaceX plans to conduct its latest test launch tomorrow from its Starbase facility in Texas. It'll be the fourth test flight of the space company's massive Starship rocket during Starship's third test flight in March. The deep space rocket system reached several new milestones, flying higher and farther than it had during its first two tests, but it broke apart upon re-entry. AT&T experienced a nationwide outage yesterday, but it was resolved a few hours later. According to the company, some sort of glitch prevented AT&T customers from being able to complete calls with other carriers. AT&T customers were able to make calls within the network, though. AT&T officials say 911 calls were not affected by the outage. An investigation is underway. The Big Easy doing some big upgrades to prepare to host the Super Bowl next year. It takes place at Caesars Superdome February 9th. The upgrades include 70 roadwork projects, 75 lighting projects, and adding greenery to some overpasses and underpasses. The city is also putting in new and improved interstate lights and repaving sidewalks. This is the 11th time New Orleans will host the big game. Major League Baseball has been hit with a new gambling scandal. Five players have been suspended, including one lifetime ban for betting on games. CBS's Carter Evans reports. Tonight, the interpreter for one of baseball's biggest stars says he's guilty of stealing almost $17 million from Shohei Otani. Ipe Mizuhara says he used that money to pay his gambling debts to a bookie. He faces a maximum of 33 years in prison. Mr. Otani is considered a victim in this case. This, as Major League Baseball is cracking down on five players for betting on the game. Four of them received one-year suspensions. But infielder Tucapita Marcano got the ultimate punishment, a lifetime ban for allegedly betting on his own Major League team. The league says Marcano wagered more than $150,000 on baseball, including more than two dozen bets on the Pittsburgh Pirates when he was an active player, but out with an injury. It just feels like this is the tip of an iceberg and it's only going to get more complicated and more messy as we go on. The MLB says none of the bets impacted the outcome of any games. Last year, by the way, Americans wagered nearly $14 billion on baseball. That's it for your morning consumer news. The time now is 517. Let's check in with News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl for a look at our forecast. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Alexandra. Boy, our wet weather continued yesterday. Of course, we had some dry time as well, but uh, rainfall totals over the past 24 hours, uh, just under a quarter inch of rain out at the La Crosse Airport. Most spots between about a quarter inch and an inch plus, uh, especially uh, parts of Buffalo County, perhaps an inch and a half or more. Uh, but where you see these darker greens, uh, anywhere from a half an inch to an inch and a half, a little bit lesser totals in some of our eastern and far southeastern communities. But everybody saw some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Storms. Skies are mostly cloudy, but some clearing taking shape just to our west. 62 degrees at the airport and downtown. Winds out of the west northwest at 10. They'll be increasing today. And the Mississippi is rising 8.78 feet, and that trend will continue. In fact, probably rising above 10 feet here in the cross on Saturday. So those water levels will be on the high side along the Mississippi over the next uh, several days uh, from all the recent rainfall. Uh, mostly cloudy for you folks in Eau Claire, 59. The Chippewa River is high, but starting to fall a little bit, 765. Uh, current temperatures in the low to mid 60s near and east of La Crosse, uh, where that uh, humid air is being pushed to the east, mid 50s to the west in Rochester and Preston. Here's what I'm talking about about the dew points still in the mid 60s to our east, but some drier air low to mid 50s for dew points moving in from the west behind that cold front. So some more comfortable air is moving in for today. It's going to be less humid with dew points generally in the lower to middle 50s. Uh, winds currently from the west at around 5 to 15 miles per hour, but they'll pick up 10 to 20, maybe gusting uh, 30 plus miles per hour in some areas to the west of the Mississippi River. So those rain showers uh, starting to shift east and out of our viewing area, and you can see the clearing line knocking on the door uh, here in La Crosse as that drier air moves in behind this cold front. Then this little uh, trough kind of extending from the main low up to the north uh, will slide through the area this afternoon, interact with the heating of the day to produce at least a chance for some 
some hit and miss showers and thunderstorms. Sky Tracker will show that uh, dry this morning. And then as we head into, uh, well, about after 2 o'clock or so, some scattered showers and thunderstorms. And you can see they're most widespread uh, north of La Crosse, but we all have at least a slight chance. Those will dissipate early this evening with clearing skies overnight. Tomorrow, uh, kind of a partly to mostly cloudy sky, but mainly dry. Rather windy, though, from the west-northwest, and then clearing skies heading into our Friday. Outside chance for a strong to isolated severe storm about the northern third of the viewing area. Local timing would be about 2 to 8 p.m. Gusty winds and small hail, the primary threats. And rainfall uh, for today and to this evening, generally a quarter inch or less in most locations. Quick check of those high temperatures today. A little bit cooler than yesterday, about 5 degrees or so. Uh, upper 70s in La Crosse, upper 70s to near 80 in our southern communities. More of the same as we head back to the north, generally mid to upper 70s uh, in most locations. So for today, 79, breezy and less humid. Chance for some hit and miss showers and thunderstorms this afternoon and early this evening. 59 overnight tonight and then tomorrow, windy and cooler, upper 60s to around 70. Still breezy Friday, 75 and mainly dry right through the weekend with highs in the 70s. Uh, even those rain chances next Tuesday and Wednesday on the low end, generally about 20%. So Alexandra, actually much needed dry time over the next eight days. It's been a rather wet go of it the past several weeks. Back to you. Looking pretty good. Thank you, Bill. The time now is 521. Still ahead on your morning news. As summer temperatures rise, doctors warn heat can affect certain medications. Coming up in your morning medical news, we'll share some tips on staying cool while adhering to your prescriptions. Four of our area baseball teams found themselves just one win away from punching their ticket to the state tournament next week in Appleton. I'll have all the action coming up in the Blitz. I've been with U.S. Cellular for 27 years. They've always taken care of me. But when they asked me to talk to you about their special customer event, Us Days, I said, I gotta get in shape. So they sent me this Hollywood trainer. Oh, this guy's no joke. Hmm. Us Days means exclusive deals just for us customers. Now let's try burpees. Us Days is back at U.S. Cellular. Current customers get $1,200 off any phone, plus $300 off any tablet. NextGuard Plus helps you protect your dog from fleas, ticks, heartworm disease, and more. All in one delicious monthly soft chew. Use with caution in dogs with a history of seizures or neurologic disorders. NextGuard Plus, the one you want for one and done protection. Really painful feet. <laughs> I had no idea what was going on. Uh, it's hard to put in words how gratifying it is to have that kind of pain gone. See for yourself with a free personalized arch support fitting at the Good Feet Store. It's hard to explain what this feels like. Moving piles of earth, towing up to 4,000 pounds, cutting millions of blades of grass. We could keep trying to put it into words, but nothing compares to experiencing it for yourself. You just have to get in the seat. Conquer every task on your list. Visit Tractor Central, take a seat, and see for yourself why nothing runs like a deer. Start now at TractorCentral.com. Welcome to Wesco. Welcome to huge selection and savings. We're celebrating June Dairy Month here at Wesco and Sparta. Have you thanked a farmer today? Take up to 25% off in select departments store-wide all month long. Plus, get free ice cream with every purchase. Buy a sofa, get free ice cream. Buy a fridge, get free ice cream. Buy some flooring, get free ice cream. Did I mention free ice cream with every purchase? Wesco and Sparta, where white glove delivery and setup are always free. Tell them Peyton sent you. We provide specialty level care in anything from wisdom tooth removal to dental implant placement to more complex corrective jaw surgeries. Trying to make it as easy of an experience as you can go through. We're the most experienced clinic in the region for these uh, types of procedures. If you or your family member needs wisdom teeth removed, to tooth extraction, dental implants, you found the right place, we'd be happy to see you here. We work closely with your general dentist, have a discussion with your dentist about a referral to us. How much was I paying a month for insulin? $185. $300. $400. I never expected anyone to do something about it. But then Tammy Baldwin did. She stood up to the drug companies and wrote a law capping the cost of insulin. Thanks to Tammy, now it just costs $35 a month. She made a huge difference for so many of us. She lifted a weight off all our shoulders. I'm Tammy Baldwin and I approve this message. 
Proper installation of your new windows make a difference. The team at Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions are factory trained to make sure your windows are installed to last. Call or stop into the showroom for your free estimate. Welcome to the Blitz. The Logan baseball team began the day two wins away from its first state title appearance since 2007. Rangers took care of business in the sectional semifinal. They were looking to punch their ticket to the state tourney in the sectional final. Let's go to Baldwin. Logan taking on Medford for a spot in the state tournament. Medford would score in the top of the first, but the Rangers respond. Bradley Check sends one high and deep to center. Ground rule double for Check. Logan ties the game at one. Fourth inning now, Medford leading 3-2, but with the man on, Nick Jolly sends one right back up the middle. Run comes in to score. We're all tied at three. And the Logan offense not slowing down. This time, Preston Elston rips one out to left. That one bounces over the wall for a ground rule double. Rangers score six unanswered, take a 7-3 lead. Then in the seventh, Medford down to its final out. Pop fly in the infield. Tyler Rumsey makes the catch. Ball game for the first time in 17 years. Logan is headed back to the state tournament. 7-5, the final, a dream come true for the Rangers. Oh my goodness, it's all a blur. It was just what I've been waiting for my entire high school career, all four years, it just paid off right now, and that's just a great thing to celebrate with my friends, my best friends in the world, so it was amazing. You know, it's crazy, it's, we've worked all season for this, so that final out, it's breathtaking. It's, yeah, it's wild. Wild is right. Rangers are state bound for the first time since 2007. They'll be looking for their first state title since 2001. Let's go to D3. Barocla and Aquinas squaring off in Prairie to Sheen. Blue Gold's going right to work. Eddie Peters goes back up the box for a base hit. Cullen Sackman scores. It's 1-0. And the Blue Gold's not done. Jacob Thornton lays down a beauty. Waylon Hargrove slides in just before the tag. It's 2-0 Aquinas. Blackhawks get one back in the second. Jack Dahl grounds one to third. But that's good enough for an RBI. Matt Weston cuts the deficit in half. Blue Golds blow it open in the second. Bases full for Tanner Peterson. He drills one to the gap in right center. All three runs come in to score. 6-1 Aquinas. Blue Golds move on to the sectional final. They get the win 12-2. Aquinas facing New Glarus in the sectional final. Pick action up in the fourth. Blue Golds Cullen Swanson with a base knock to left. One run comes in. Aquinas goes up by three. Same inning. Runners in scoring position for Johnny Dietz. Check out the wheels on the freshman. He beats the throw to first. That brings in another run. Blue Gold's up by four. Aquinas keeps pouring it on. Kyle White flies one out to left. Another runner crosses the dish. Blue Gold's extend their lead to five. Jumps to the seventh now. Blue Gold's Jacob Thornton collecting a hit to left. Aquinas adding to its lead. Blue Gold's are going back to state for the second straight season. They get the win over New Glarus, nine to three. That brings us to D4. Sectional final will leave a Strom scoring off with Royal. Cardinals up one in the fifth. Panthers threatening, though. Carter Upna strikes out. Catcher throws down a second. But Tyrus Wilds boasts from third. Slides in safely to tie the game. Cards with some life in the bottom of the frame. Pitches in the dirt. Noah Martinson trying to score from third. But Tucker Wilds flips to Seth Brand out for the out at the plate. Still tied at one. Wilds at the dish now with the bases loaded. Nobody out. Sends a fly ball to left. Ty Felstead makes the catch. Comes up gunning. Jet Bender tagging up, but the throw is right on the money. Double play. Cards out of a jam. Bottom seven now. Leave a strum with ducks on the pond. Martinson, floater to center field. Runners had to hold to make sure a drop, but the ball is bobbled on the force out. Carter Gunderson scores the walk-off run, and Oliva Strum is heading to state for the first time in school history. Cardinals knock off Royal 2-1. to one. That's going to do it for the Blitz. We'll see you tonight. Knutson Roofing, locally owned with 18 years of experience to get your project done right the first time. Whether it's roofing, window, or siding installation, we offer reliable, dependable, and quality work we stand behind. Knutson Roofing, call or visit us online today. Here's to the farm and fleet dads, the ones who work hard and get the job done right, the ones who take pride in what they do and take the time to pass it on. This Father's Day, get your dad a gift he'll love. Like all new Vibe drinkware and accessories, 30% off, 25% off men's Carhartt force gear. This power tool storage rack is just $22.99. And get a free qualifying attachment when you buy this Milwaukee trimmer and blower kit. Find value at Blue's Farm and Fleet. 
Stressless by Eckerness. The most comfortable seating in the world is more comfortable than ever. It's on sale now at Drury's and Fountain. Every year, Eckerness updates styles and leathers, and that means outstanding values. And now we're passing these savings on to you. It's time for you to enjoy the incredible comfort of a stressless sofa or recliner in your home. Now at Fantastic Savings. A stressless recliner is your place. A place to relax, a place to unwind. Stressless furniture on sale now at Drury's and Fountain. Maury's VW has all the latest Volkswagens with new product arriving daily, including the new 2024 Volkswagen SUV lineup, the large and very spacious Atlas and Atlas Crossport, the perfect size family-friendly Volkswagen Tiguan, and the practical, economical Volkswagen Taos. As always, you don't need to travel far to have your Volkswagen serviced. Come in for your test drive today at Maury's Volkswagen. Life happens. When people hit bumps in the road, Family and Children's Center is here to help. FCC offers mental health support with 20 different programs. Support for hurts, heartaches, and hardships. Because life happens. Contact FCC Outpatient Therapy at FCCOnline.org. At Union State Bank, we believe in empowering our young savers to dream big and achieve more. While the most important part of being a kid is being a kid, we encourage their parents to set them on a journey of financial success. The Junior Savings Account from Union State Bank is designed especially for kids up to age 18. A savings account for your kids is a crucial step in shaping their future and instilling valuable life skills. Take the next step and set your kids on the path towards a brighter and more secure financial future. Union State Bank, where customers and community come first. Member FDIC. Knutson Roofing, locally owned with 18 years of experience to get your project done right the first time. Whether it's roofing, window, or siding installation, we offer reliable, dependable, and quality work we stand behind. Knutson Roofing, call or visit us online today. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. Welcome back. In your morning medical news, as the heat of summer begins, so does mosquito season. Los Angeles County is one of several parts of the country reporting a first positive sample of the West Nile virus this year. The sample was taken from a mosquito trap. The CDC says the virus is rarely transmitted from person to person. Infectious disease experts say there's no vaccine for the virus, so take precautions to avoid getting bit. It's using mosquito repellents, avoiding places where there's known to be mosquitoes. When you're inside, using your air conditioner, because uh, mosquitoes don't like uh, air conditioning, so they will not come into your house if that's the case, if, mm. if the air conditioner is on. Mm. Wearing clothing that's kind of covering up all those exposed areas where mosquitoes bite, but that's very hard when it's as hot as it is. Mosquitoes are considered the most dangerous animal on the planet because they spread diseases like West Nile, malaria, and Zika that kill hundreds of thousands of people every year. As the temperature rises, so does the risk of heat-related illnesses, and certain medications can make a person even more vulnerable when it's hot outside. Mandy Gaither has more on which medications don't mix well with the heat and precautions you can take to stay safe. High temperatures, heat, and humidity can all affect the body, but some medications can pose an added danger. Medications that decrease the body's ability to shunt blood out to the skin and then sweat uh, off that fluid to help release a lot of that heat. Um, that's, that's really why they predispose to heat illness overall. Emergency medicine doctor Kevin Watkins with Cleveland Clinic says medications that can cause heat intolerance include diuretics, heart medications like blood pressure drugs, antihistamines, decongestants, antibiotics, antidepressants, and antipsychotics. We worry most about heat stroke um, especially when there are heat waves. Everyone can protect against extreme heat by wearing loose fitting clothing, keeping your house cool by covering windows, finding air conditioning in a public place if your home doesn't have it, avoiding strenuous activities outdoors in high heat, and staying hydrated. If you get dehydrated, you're, you're really hurting your body's ability to get rid of that heat as well. Heat can also degrade medication, so experts say make sure to store medicine properly. In a place that is, you know, away from sunlight, that is cool, you know, in a bathroom, uh, you know, ideally in a closed area. If you're at a higher risk for heat-related issues, talk to your doctor and seek medical help right away if you're vomiting or symptoms are worsening.
A Western Wisconsin state senator says the state has fallen too far behind in reproductive health care. State Senator Brad Path and Senate Minority Leader Diane Hasselbein joined community members for a roundtable in La Crosse, focusing on postpartum care. Federal law says states allow Medicaid to cover 60 days of postpartum health care. Path says the Senate passed a bill almost unanimously last session that would have extended postpartum care for a year, but Assembly Speaker Robin Voss refused to bring it to the floor. He says the legislature needs to do more for women in Wisconsin. Pass legislation to codify Roe v. Wade in the state statute. We definitely need to move forward to protect privacy and the right to contraceptive services. And we need to make sure that we provide Medicaid for uh, women in postpartum. Wisconsin's Department of Health Services says postpartum complications disproportionately affect more women of color. Experts say extending Medicaid coverage can help new parents with depression and other health issues, too. The Lacrosse Concert Band is beginning to rehearse for its upcoming concert series at Riverside Park. The free performances will be on Wednesdays throughout June and July. They'll perform their first of seven concerts Wednesday, June 12th at 7 p.m. The Lacrosse Concert Band has been performing every year since 1930 and offers a wide range of genres and even opportunities to learn something new. Our mission is to be educational as well as entertaining, so we want people to, to appreciate all kinds of different music. And as I said, it is traditional wind band music, but we have a lot of variety, a lot of opportunities to learn something new and, and expand your horizons. Each concert runs about an hour, and you are welcome to bring your own food and drinks to the show. Amid resident calls for public facility repairs, the City of La Crosse is poised to invest in several capital projects over the next year. One of those would be repairing the Forest Hills tennis courts and Northside Community Pool. News 8 Now's Jeremy Wall takes a look at what the projects would address and how it could impact residents. Julie Nelson used to use the Northside Community Pool. My kids have long outgrown that. When I was working at Northside, we took a field trip there and the kids just had a ball. They were so well entertained. She feels upgrades to the pool should be a priority. This is a low income area of town and children, to use the cliche, are the future. If we get good kids going right now, they will become successful citizens later on. The project proposal would upgrade its mechanical system, add a roof and replace the liner, a $900,000 price tag. The Forest Hills plan would cost $600,000 to rebuild four tennis courts. Jacob Hebing plays tennis there several times a week. He says the cracks cause a health concern. Maybe a little like, you know, rolled, rolled anchor or so. Um, it definitely plays a part in playing tennis because the ball hits a crack, it either pops up or it changes the spin um, a lot. Sally Rood is the secretary and treasurer for the Cooley Region Tennis Association. She says the conditions are causing groups to go across town just to find a playable surface. Social groups have uh, moved elsewhere to play at other courts. We still play at Forest Hills and the two better courts, but the four other ones when we're there, we hardly see anybody there. In La Crosse, Jeremy Wall, News 8 Now This Morning. The City Planning Commission voted this week 4-3 to three against adding the projects to the budget. The next budget meeting is Monday, June 17th. Time now is 538. Here is News 8 meteorologist Bill Grawl to tell us what to expect on our morning commute. How's it looking today, Bill? It's looking dry for most. Still some wet roads, though, in the eastern sections of the viewing area because that's where the rain showers are starting to wind down there. But a live look through City Cam will show clearing off to the west. Of course, a cloud cover to the east still obscuring the sunshine, but uh, some wet spots on the streets and parking lots and sidewalks. And you can see even Interstate 90, uh, still some wet spots. But overall, uh, driving conditions should be good across the region this morning. That's in my drive cast for this Wednesday. Dry this morning and then a chance for some additional scattered showers and thunderstorms later this afternoon into this uh, early this evening, but there'll be a lot more hit and miss, not nearly as widespread as what we've seen the last couple of days. Breezy and less humid today as well. Radar showing the showers from the overnight starting to shift east and out of our viewing area, and you can see that clearing line pretty much uh, right near the La Crosse area and points to the west. Current temperatures in the low to mid 60s to the east, mid to upper 50s to our west. We'll see highs in La Crosse around 79 degrees. Again, that chance for a few hit and miss showers and thunderstorms this afternoon. I'll have more details with my eight day forecast on the other side of the break, but coming up in our buzz report, it's the end of an era. Pat Sajak is officially leaving Wheel of Fortune this week. We'll have the details coming up in your morning buzz report. We'll be right back.
It's Kubota Orange Days. Shop the year's biggest selection of Kubota equipment and get 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Visit any of your local Johnson Tractor dealerships in Menominee, Baldwin, Osseo, and Arcadia. Senator Baldwin says, I'm not from Wisconsin. But this was my childhood home. Graduated East High. Became a Badger in 86, where I've had my company for over 20 years. And this is where we live. It's our family home. I'm a fourth generation Wisconsinite. It made me who I am. If Senator Baldwin's not gonna be honest with you about where I'm from, what makes you think she'll be honest with you about anything? I'm Eric Hovde, and I approve this message. At an 11% rebate at Menards. From hitches to ratchet straps and everything in between, we've got your hauling needs covered. This Toastmart starter kit, which includes a 2-inch hitch ball and 5 8 hitch pin, is only $14.99 after rebate. Skill delivers advanced power and torque with convenience and portability. The PowerCore 20 battery is interchangeable with every Skill 20-volt power tool. This 20-volt four-tool combo kit is $114.81 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. Caring about someone all the time, even if you can't be with them all the time, that's modern caregiving, and that's NOMO. NOMO lets you check in, even when you can't check in person. Now, let's say it's your mom. NOMO's no-camera motion sensors check mom's normal motion in mom's home and sends all that to your NOMO app. Like what? Like mom getting out of bed, opening the fridge, her medicine cabinet. Nomo checks, you check your Nomo app. Normal day? Good to know. Not normal, that's when you need to know. And with Nomo, you can alert emergency services fast. Maybe you can't be there, but you can still care. No more, worry less with Nomo. NOMO Smart Care, N-O-M-O Smart Care. I love that my daughter still needs me, but sometimes I can't help due to burning and stabbing pain in my hands. So I use Nervive. Nervive's clinical dose of ALA reduces nerve discomfort in as little as seven days. Now I can help again. <laughs> Feel the difference with Nervive. Sanja loves to bake cupcakes or cookies, but her feet, they were throbbing. Then one day, I found a solution. Arch Supports from the Good Feet Store. Try them for yourself with a free Arch Support fitting and test walk at the Good Feet Store. It's Kubota Orange Days. Shop the year's biggest selection of Kubota equipment and get 0% APR for 84 months or up to $3,300 off select compact tractors. Visit any of your local Johnson Tractor dealerships in Menominee, Baldwin, Osseo, and Arcadia. Hey, welcome back everyone. A good Wednesday morning to you. It is 542. Check of the allergy report. High symptoms across the board for today and tomorrow for pine, tree pollen, and grass pollen. Still some tree pollen in the air in the latest samples, including pine, hickory, and walnut. Mowing forecast, a chance for some hit and miss showers and thunderstorms this afternoon and early this evening. Plenty of dry time this morning, 79. Uh, breezy today, windy tomorrow, 70, and then 75 on Friday with a partly cloudy sky. So you can see the clearing. Uh, approaching from the west, just a few clouds uh, over downtown La Crosse, 62 degrees at the airport and downtown. Winds out of the west northwest at 10. The Mississippi is on the rise, 8.78 feet, and it's going to rise above 10 feet come Saturday as a lot of uh, wet weather uh, upriver and across the region uh, filling into the Mississippi River Basin. So it's going to be running high over the next week or two. 59 degrees in Eau Claire. Uh, winds out of the west at 5 to 10. The Chippewa River is high as well, but it's starting to drop uh, just a little bit. So current temperatures, uh, you can see some cooler air moving in from the west. Mid 50s in Rochester and Preston. Still some upper 60s over towards Green Bay, Oshkosh and Madison. 62 in the cross. Dew points also higher over eastern Wisconsin. That drier air filtering in behind the uh, cold front low to mid 50s for dew points to the west so uh, getting into more comfortable air and it's going to be less humid today with dew points generally in the lower to middle 50s so that'll feel pretty nice uh, winds out of the west right now 5 to 15 they'll be picking up a bit though today uh, behind this front as the rain showers from the overnight starting to push east and out of our viewing area but uh, far eastern sections of viewing area still seeing some showers early this morning 
A uh, little disturbance on the uh, southwest side of this low little trough that's going to scoot through this afternoon, bring a chance for some hit and miss showers and thunderstorms. Sky Tracker will show that dry conditions today, uh, but again, a chance for some hit and miss showers and storms after about one or two o'clock and through early this evening. Best chances north, but we all have at least a slight chance. And then tomorrow, uh, partly to mostly cloudy, but primarily dry and rather windy uh, west and northwest winds for our Thursday clearing skies heading in into our Friday. Uh, outside chance for a strong to isolated severe storm across about the northern third of the viewing area. Local timing 2 to 8 p.m. Maybe some gusty winds and small hail with any stronger storms that develop. A uh, rain tracker showing that the rain today quite a bit less than the past couple of days. These storms today will be a lot more hit and miss, not nearly as widespread as what we've seen the past few days. High temperatures today, uh, upper 70s to right around 80 degrees in central and southern portions of the Butte area, uh, mid to upper 70s as we head to the north, including 78 in Chippewa Falls, 75 in Ladysmith. So breezy, less humid today, 79. Again, that chance for some hit and miss showers and storms this afternoon. Coverage will be about 30 to 40 percent. 59 tonight, showers early, otherwise partly cloudy overnight. Windy tomorrow and cooler, highs in the 60s to around 70 degrees. Still a bit breezy Friday, 75, and again, uh, mainly dry right through the weekend. Some much needed dry time with highs in the 70s and even those rain chances next Tuesday and Wednesday are slim. Only about 20% 80s return uh, next Wednesday and Thursday. That's the latest look at my eight day forecast. Now here's Alexandra with our buzz report. Actor Keanu Reeves and his band Dog Star are going on tour. The tour comes after the group's first performance in 20 years last summer. Dog Star is currently on tour in Europe and will be visiting 28 American cities, starting with the Indiana State Fair August 9th. The group's final show will be in California in September. Pre-ticket sales start today. It is the end of an era. Pat Sajak is taking his last spin at the wheel. The final episode for Wheel of Fortune's longtime game show host is set to air Friday. Last summer, the 77-year-old announced he would retire after 41 seasons. Ryan Seacrest is set to take the wheel as host in September, working alongside, of course, the iconic Vanna White. I don't mean to scare you, but we haven't much time. It's not wise to keep them waiting. <laughs> They'd be very interested in someone new. It's a window on the other side. They come every night and they watch us. The daughter of the director who brought us The Sixth Sense and Unbreakable is following in her father's footsteps with her new film. Ishana Knight Shyamalan, daughter of M. Night Shyamalan, makes her feature film directorial debut with The Watchers. You can watch the horror thriller in theaters starting Friday. Hi, I'm Ilaria Baldwin. And I'm Alec Baldwin. And we have an announcement to make. Good God, no. No, definitely not. We're done having kids. Seven kids, all under the age of 10, soon to be starring with their parents in a new reality show. Alec and Hilaria Baldwin made the announcement on Instagram. The series, tentatively titled The Baldwins, is set to debut next year on TLC. Of course, Alec Baldwin has another real-life drama playing out. He's facing an involuntary manslaughter charge in the 2021 shooting death of Rust cinematographer Elena Hutchins. That trial is scheduled to start in July. Before we had to break, it's time to look at today's Look Who's 8. Ezekiel is turning eight months old today. He loves being with his big brother and being outside in the fresh air. And Miles is turning eight months old. He is always on the move and loves playing with the family dogs. Stetson is also turning eight months today. He is always smiling and loves to eat. Happy eight months to all of you. And if you know a special someone turning eight weeks, eight months, eight years, 18, 80, or 88 years old soon, we'd love to feature them. Just upload their photo to our website, news8000.com, and look for the Submit Pictures button underneath the Home tab. The time now is 548. Stay with us. We have everything you need to know in five minutes or less. Your morning news now is just after the break. Knutson Roofing, locally owned with 18 years of experience to get your project done right the first time. Whether it's roofing, window, or siding installation, we offer reliable, dependable, and quality work we stand behind. Knutson Roofing, call or visit us online today. 
Don't believe Tammy Baldwin's TV ads. Believe her record. Baldwin voted against $800 million for narcotic detection at our border. She voted against more Border Patrol agents, against tougher sentences for drug traffickers here illegally. No wonder overdose deaths have skyrocketed on Baldwin's watch, with cartel activity right here in Wisconsin. Two-Face Tammy, a hypocrite we can't trust. Fix Washington Pack is responsible for the content of this advertising. Get solar and get saving with Olson Solar Energy in the La Crosse area. When you're talking to someone and you call someone at Olson Solar, it's not someone in Utah, it's not someone in California, it is someone local right here. By doing that, you know, we control the entire process. So we control the project management, we control the design, we control the installation, the electric, the hookup, permitting, and, and that really sets us apart. Stop into our location near you. Learn more at OlsonSolarEnergy.com or give us a call. NextGuard Combo is the only monthly topical that protects against fleas, ticks, tapeworms, and more. Used with caution in cats with a history of seizures or neurologic disorders. NextGuard Combo. The monthly one and done you want. Knutson Roofing, locally owned with 18 years of experience to get your project done right the first time. Whether it's roofing, window, or siding installation, we offer reliable, dependable, and quality work we stand behind. Knutson Roofing. Call or visit us online today. Welcome back. It's 5.50. Time for your morning news now. The Trumpelo County Sheriff's Office has released the name of the victim from a May homicide. The Sheriff's Office says 36-year-old Kyle Dahl was killed in that trick. Police found him around 8.30 p.m. on May 15th between Highway 53 and County Road TT. A person of interest is currently in custody on unrelated charges. The Sheriff's Office is asking for help getting surveillance and dash cam videos from that night between 7 and 9 p.m. between Galesville and Blair. If you have any information, we'll have the Sheriff's Office contact on our website. A sweeping new immigration executive order went into effect overnight after it was signed by the president. That order imposes new restrictions on migrants seeking asylum along the U.S.-Mexico border and allows immigration officials to quickly deport migrants who entered the U.S. without an asylum appointment when the weekly average of illegal daily entries exceeds 2,600. A Western Wisconsin state senator says the state has fallen too far behind in reproductive health care. State Senator Brad Path and Senate Minority Leader Diane Hesselbein joined community members for a roundtable in the cross, focusing on postpartum care. Federal law says states allow Medicaid to cover 60 days of postpartum health care. Path says the Senate passed a bill almost unanimously last session that would have extended postpartum care for a year, but Assembly Speaker Robin Voss refused to bring it to the floor. He says the legislature needs to do more for women in our state. Pass legislation to codify Roe v. Wade in the state statute. We definitely need to move forward to protect privacy and the right to contraceptive services. And we need to make sure that we provide Medicaid for uh, women in postpartum. Wisconsin's Department of Health Services says postpartum complications disproportionately affect more women of color. Experts say extending Medicaid coverage can help new parents with depression and other health issues. The Eau Claire Area School District is putting a referendum on the upcoming ballot. The school board has approved a question asking the district for an $18 million levy increase each year for the next four school years to maintain operations for things like elementary reading programs, behavioral and mental health resources, and school safety. Winona State University is boosting its diversity and inclusion efforts. They've hired Mohammed Ahmed as the Associate Vice President for Equity and Inclusive Excellence and Chief Diversity Officer. According to the school, Ahmed's role will be to evaluate progress in closing the equity gaps and enhance inclusivity at the university. He served in similar roles at other schools across the country. Ahmed says he looks forward to creating an environment where everyone thrives and feels valued. He starts on July 8th. The lacrosse concert band is beginning to rehearse for its upcoming concert series at Riverside Park. The free performances will be on Wednesdays through June and July. They'll perform the first of seven concerts Wednesday, June 12th at 7 p.m. The lacrosse concert band has been performing every year since 1930 and offers a wide range of genres and even opportunities to learn something new. Our mission is to be educational as well as entertaining, so we want people to, to appreciate all kinds of different music. And as I said, it is traditional wind band music, but we have a lot of variety, a lot of opportunities to, to learn something new and, and expand your horizons. 
Each concert runs about an hour. And of course, Moon Tunes uh, starts down at Riverside Park tomorrow evening. Now today, we're looking live through CityCam. We've got clearing moving in from the west. Those rain showers from the overnight pushing across far eastern portions of the Bune area. Give it another hour or two and you will be dry as well. And you can see uh, mainly clear skies over much of Minnesota and Iowa pushing into our area. Uh, current temperatures range from the mid 50s to the west to lower 60s in the cross mid 60s far south and east. Uh, we'll see highs today around 79 breezy and less humid. A uh, chance for some hit and miss showers and thunderstorms uh, this afternoon into early this evening. Then mainly dry much needed dry time Thursday right through the weekend rather windy and cooler tomorrow still breezy Friday and uh, 70s for highs right through the weekend. Thank you, Bill. A black medic credited with treating many wounded soldiers on D-Day has been posthumously awarded the Distinguished Service Cross. It is the second highest military decoration that can be awarded to a member of the Army. Army medic Corporal Waverly Woodson Jr. was part of the 320th Barrage Balloon Battalion. That was the all-black unit tasked with deploying balloons to protect troops along the beaches of Normandy from German fighter planes during D-Day on June 6, 1944. Woodson spent 30 hours treating fellow soldiers as the assault took place. He became seriously injured when his boat hit a mine. He died in 2005 at age 83. Thanks for starting your morning with us. Coming up, several lacrosse residents are facing possible eviction this morning because of how close their homes are to the Pamel Creek Canal. Coming up at 6, News 8 Now's Allison Ferga takes a closer look at why the city is making them move and what's next for some of the residents. An emotional day of opening statements in Hunter Biden's federal gun trial. I'm Jared Hill with how prosecutors tried to use the president's son's own words against him. 